Hello, lovely people. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and subscribe so that you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thank what you. What I have here is a packet of wings, a family size packet of wings, and a family size of uh, chicken breasts. The wings I'm gonna make in the in my um, air fryer, and the breasts I'm gonna be canning. And I just wanted to show you what I seasoned it with so far. So because it's a lot of meat, of course, my trusty Italian salad dressing seasoning mix. I added a little bit of this uh, Badia with cilantro and lime, not too much. And then I added my my blend. That I, um, this is the blend that I make, and I'll one of these days I'll I'll put it together for you so you can see what I add in here. I think I have already mentioned this in one of my videos, but I can't recall. What we're gonna do is mix this up really well. I add a little bit of um, oil to it. Let me grab some gloves. Very good, okay. So these are the gloves that my husband orders for me on Amazon in case you're interested. I love them. This is a size small and I like them because they feel like an extra hands, like my hands. They're not really big or anything like that. Because if they're big, they're really hard to work with. I have gotten used to doing everything with gloves, so I gotta have these, you guys. I know, bad for the environment, but I gotta have my gloves, especially if I'm dealing with meats. Although I use gloves for everything. I've been known to step out of the house with these on prior to the coronavirus, that is, and people looking at me funny. Anyway, I'm just gonna mix this up. Um, add a little bit of my a little bit of oil to it, just a tad, not too much. Um, when you're putting your meat in the air fryer, you want it to have a little bit of oil rubbed on it. I have already obviously washed, rinsed, and patted dry these before, you know, this step. You wanna really mix the seasoning in very, very well. I will not add salt to this only because the Italian seasoning does have salt. So I won't need to do that. So just, it smells so good right now, the seasoning. I will say that I get my oregano from Puerto Rico. Uh, when my sister goes over to Puerto Rico on business, she sends me a box. She just puts a box together and she mails me some of the the seasoning packets. And there's one that I particularly like better than the others. I'll show you that. Let me see if I can grab it, I'll show it to you. Okay, this is done. It's well incorporated. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take my gloves off, throw this out. Ah! Ooh, excuse me, guys. Okay, let me show you. So here we go. You can move that over there. See, this is where I keep them lock and lock. But, my favorite she got me these this time i'm not a hundred percent man this lighting is bad you guys i'm not a hundred percent with these yet so far but can you see it let me turn this around maybe you have a better lighting if i turn this thing around hold on turn it around this way yeah i think it shows better look at that okay montero is the one that i prefer over this one. Don't go you. The reason I prefer this one, because this one, it's really, really strong. It smells really good. This one has a very mild kind of um, uh, smell to it. I, like I said, I prefer this one. If you can find it online, by all means, get it online. It's worth it. And, oh, and that's what I put. Here you go. I, I'm just going to share this. So I put garlic. I buy the container of garlic like this, and then I just add the oregano that you that I just showed you. This oregano, you gotta put it like in, a, I normally put it in my Ninja to get it like a powdery consistency. And I add that to it, I add a little bit of salt and black pepper, and that's all that's in here. Um, I don't really measure anything, I just kinda do my own thing. So there you have it. I share my little secret. And it's really, really good, you guys. And it's the, 
it's really good, but it's really the oregano that's gonna give it that amazing flavor. So I would suggest that you get this type of oregano. All right, there we'll you this. have it, seasoned. I um, covered it with clean free um, plastic wrap and I'm gonna leave it on my stove until I'm ready. Um, what I have here is some a quarter cup of honey, um, some lime juice, and now I'm getting ready to put some lemon lime zest. I also have a clove of garlic that I chopped up and I put a teaspoon of devilish troy. This is what I have, so this is what I added. And now I'm just doing the zest and my, let me just show you my wings are in here. Can you see, they still have a little bit to go, but that's okay. I They already um, were in here for 20 minutes and I added some extra minutes, like 16 minutes. I have my oven going already, preheated at 400, because once these are done, or almost done, I'm gonna take them out, put them in a dish, and put them in the oven so they can stay warm while I do the second batch. I just wanted to bring you in and show you how I make the sauce that I'm gonna. It really calls for cilantro, but I really, I don't have cilantro, so I'm using what I have. <clears throat> I am gonna go ahead and chop green onions, the leafy one, the long ones. I'm gonna be chopping some of those and putting it in here. And, and that's all I'm gonna be doing, you guys, so. This is what I have so far, see? Um, you could add more lemon if you want. I don't know that I am yet, I haven't decided. I'm gonna chop some of these and put them in. I'm gonna clean them up real quick and then Okay, so I just chopped some of the long leaf onions here. I put some of them in here because I'm gonna be using some of this, I mean, I was only gonna make a salad to go with these wings, but honestly, we're starving. So I'm gonna make this hash, uh, southern hash uh, potatoes to go with it. So I'm heating this up, and then I'm gonna put it in. Of course, my trusty Italian seasoning, and trust me, if you wouldn't believe how good stuff comes out with that seasoning, you don't have to add too much. I mean, you don't have to add a lot of stuff to make it good. So my oven is ready. Let me get my seasoning mix for this. I want this to get hot before I put my potatoes in. Uh, I normally would also kind of dice the garlic, but honestly, I'm hungry right now, so I don't want to mess around too much. I just want this done, and I want it done quickly. Give me a minute. Um, trusty little guy. I promise I'm gonna get another light for this kitchen. I promise, probably tomorrow. Cause it is rather dark in here. Okay, so that's hot. That's going. This is going. This is gonna go in. And I'm not gonna mess with it right now. Eh, I think that's enough. We don't need any more than that. I'm just gonna let it kinda get brown a little. Let me take this little piece out. Let it do its thing here for a minute. Put this away. That's done. Now, this here is gonna be for my wings when I get ready to okay. simple. Look at these wings. Do they not look amazing, you guys? I'm gonna transfer them over, like I said, so I can put the other batch. Ugh. Hold on, I got this thing here. I'm gonna transfer them. Oops. Let me transfer them over here. I got a very, like I said, limited workspace, so bear with me. I'm just gonna take them out. I'm gonna, oops, put them in here, and they're gonna go in the oven while, while the other batch cooks. I know I got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, that's gonna go here. I'm gonna set this here for now, but I gotta put these in there. And then I gotta season the rest of the chicken that I'm gonna be canning, probably tomorrow, not today. I already got too much going on, so 
Let me get the rest of my wing in here. Let's see, do I have another one? Look at the chunks of meat that I'm gonna be canning, you guys. I'm sorry, my head is in the way. Put this one in there. I think I have one. Yeah, I think I can fit them all, I hope. Yeah, I think I have one. Is that it? Or do I have any more? Let's see. Mm, yeah, I have one more. And that's it. And then, I know they're not supposed to be crowded. But they're going to be crowded because I want them to cook for... And this is set for 400. Okay, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, <clears throat> I won't be needing this because I have to. I have to see. I bought some extra meat because if I'm gonna can, I'm gonna make it worth my while. I am not. I don't like to can a couple of little things because it's a job to do that. So. I'm gonna add some amino, liquid amino sauce alternative to my sauce here that I'm gonna be putting in. And there you go, okay. Let me try it a little bit. It's hot, only because I don't eat hot, but it tastes really good. But it does have a kick to it, you guys, so I'm just letting you know. If you don't like hot sauce like me, I don't know why I put a teaspoon in there because when I make these hot sauce, these are really, really potent. It is pretty good, I will say. I to show you what's going on in here in the oven. Here's a... Uh they're still letting out fat but I'm going to add some of the sauce and I'm going to serve my husband now because these are still going and I don't want my potatoes to get cold so I'm just going to cold these really quick put them back in the oven for a little bit okay I'm going to put them back in for about five minutes so they can continue okay here you have the lime chicken wings Telling you about. There you have it. And they look amazing, you guys. And I'm gonna put a little bit of these little puppies, actually, well, puppies in here. You can do this and, and put it over. I gotta remember not to grab this pot. So I don't end up burning myself but this is what's gonna happen oh. I gotta hold it with my right hand because I am right-handed after all so I'm just gonna pour the dripping over it and this one's done if those other ones are done I'll, I'll put them in here I'll plate them there but Look at it, you guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, yeah.